Several years ago, I found myself in a situation where I was debating, do I go with a climber or do I go with a hanger? And I think there are two main factors that's going to play into you making that decision. Number one, the area and timber that you're hunting in. And then number two, your style of hunting. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the area and timber that you're hunting in. It's very important to have a good understanding of the property that you're hunting in and the trees that's available on that piece of property. Now, are you hunting in hardwoods where there's a lot of nice, clean, straight trees? This is where a climber is definitely going to shine. Now, let's say like if you're hunting in like the marshes or the swamps, places that has very limited trees to choose from, trees that are very gnarly, has a lot of branches and things like that. And that's where a uh, hangout is definitely going to shine. So it's very important to have a good understanding of the area and the types of timber that's available on that property. That's really going to dictate which one of these two tree stands is going to best fit that scenario. Number two, let's go ahead and take a look at, you know, what kind of hunter are you, your style of hunting. Now, do you hunt public land? Do you hunt private land? Do you like to run and gun or are you a stationary hunter? And that's going to play into which one of these two uh, tree stand is going to best fit your need as well. Let's say like if you're hunting on public land, you like to run and gun. You know, one of the great things about a climber is that it's super easy to use. You can climb a lot of these really nice, straight, clean trees out there on public land. Um, it's easy to set up and it's easy to take down. So it's fast and it's efficient. You can hit a lot of different areas. Now, the one great thing I like about running and gunning or going in blind with, you know, the hangout is that um, a lot of new properties that you may not have uh, a lot of knowledge about, you can basically set up on any tree uh, that you want. And that's not going to limit you in regards to where you can set up and what types of trees you can set up. Now, let's say like if you have access to, you know, a lease, uh, private land, or you own private land. I think hang-ons are excellent in those situations simply because with hang-ons, you can leave your stand out there overnight or throughout the season. Um, you can hang your stand out there at the end of your, your hunt. You can get down, take your sticks with you or leave your sticks out there and transporting your gear in and out is gonna be a lot easier and more efficient if you're able to leave your stands out there. Some uh, public land do allow you to leave stands overnight as well. And that's something you're going to have to check with your, your regulations. All right, so let's talk about pros and cons about each of these stands. Now let's start with the climber. You know, uh, the pros about the climber is that it is super easy to use. Um, it's fast and it's efficient. You know, another thing about the climber is that it really doesn't limit you in regards to how high you can climb. Um, you know, you can climb anywhere from like 10 feet up to 30 plus feet if you wish. You know, as long as you have a clean tree that uh, doesn't have any limbs to get in your way, you know, you can climb a lot higher with a climber. I think comfort really goes to the climber as well. You know, there are certain manufacturers out there that makes very nice, comfortable uh, climbers. And I would say hands down, um, depending on the climber you get, you know, it's definitely a lot more comfortable than a hang-on. Again, depending on the manufacturer, I think some of these climbers are super light. You know, if you're a mobile hunter, you like to run and gun, or if you do a lot of self-filming and you carry a lot of extra gear, you know, a climber uh, definitely shines in that area too. So again, depending on manufacturer, some of these climbers are actually pretty light. Some of the pros about the, the hangout is number one, versatility. And this setup will get you up virtually almost any tree that's out there. And that's the, probably the, the greatest thing about hangouts is that you're not limited uh, in regards to, um, you know, which tree to set up. And then I would say the other advantage with a hangout is the fact that you can leave it up there in your tree at the end of your hunt and that definitely helps you eliminate you know carrying extra weight in and out and speeding up the process of getting set up all right so now let's focus on some of the cons of each of these setup now with the climber again like i said you're going to need a very nice straight tree and and that's some of the problems too especially if you're hunting on public land there are definitely a lot of areas where you are not allowed to trim lanes because you are so limited to 
a specific type of tree to climb and that's going to put you at a disadvantage uh, when it comes to setting up you know you might have let's say like a a very uh, nice trail that you know the deer are traveling in and the closest straightest tree that you're able to climb is several yards away and that's a disadvantage now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the cons about the hang on i think one of the cons with the hang on is definitely the uh, whole setup process it does require uh, additional steps and additional equipment. It does uh, take a little bit longer to set up, but I think you know the more that you practice, it gets a lot faster and it gets a lot easier. Now, because you do have to carry you know sticks and additional equipment, and that's additional added weight that you have to carry with you in the woods. Uh, with the additional sticks and equipment that um, you're using and the setup process that's going to require a little bit more work and time, that's a possibility that you're going to be making a little bit noise when you're out there setting up or tearing down. Height limitation is, I believe, uh, another one too, simply because the amount of sticks and spacing between those sticks are really going to dictate how high you can climb. Now, there are going to be situations where you might need only one or two sticks and you're able to get to your desired height. Other times, you're going to have to use all four sticks and you're really going to have to play with your spacing to make sure that it's comfortable climbing up from stick to stick to be able to get to your desired height. So let's talk about the, the different components that you get with the, uh, the climber. So you get two pieces. You get your seat as well as your foot platform. And that's basically it. With the hang on, there are multiple pieces. You know, you buy the, uh, uh, the stand itself and then you have to purchase your climbing sticks separately. Besides that, you also have to purchase a lineman's belt that's gonna help you uh, be connected uh, to the tree at all times. You know, so if you were to ask me which one of these two tree stands I prefer over the other, I would say hands down, I would go with the hanger simply because it is such a versatile uh, tree stand to use. You know, you can go in virtually anywhere, any tree, and you can get set up and put yourself in a situation to be successful. There's pros and cons to each of these tree stands, and that's up to you to decide, you know, what are you willingly to trade off? Now that's gonna be something that you have to decide what you want, you know? So it really comes down to personal preference and what's uh, going to be able to fit within your budget and your needs. But I hope that this video helps you kind of narrow your selection down. So if you like what you saw, like always guys, like and subscribe, thanks for watching, and the season's gonna be here before we know it.